learning about computers in general. Um, we use it all the time in our day-to-day -day lives and it's such a pivotal point um, in our history now. So it's something that I think you know, everyone should have a little bit of experience in. Um, but you know, if you're definitely trying to go into the field, it's probably something you want to have more than just a little bit of experience in. Um, so it's been very beneficial and helpful. I entered without like taking prerequisite classes. So I just took one of his harder classes without any knowledge. And it was hard at first, but then I ended up enjoying it and continued with it. I feel like you have to try it first and then determine if you want to continue it. Because then sometimes I was always, I don't like doing like math or logic things, but I found like through programming, I actually enjoyed solving. And I actually really enjoyed it. So I feel like you have to try it first. I think one of the things that makes my program super unique is kids have choices. Uh, if you look at my program of study, I have a very large number of classes. Kids can come in and play with robots. They can come in and program on computers. Uh, we're developing a new IT side to this. Kids can come in and work on servers and switches and networking and cybersecurity. So I've got lots of avenues for students and lots of classes to, to keep them coming back for more. I'm taking currently microcomputer hardware. The first semester of the course is mainly like learning more of like the physical side, uh, more of the hardware side about computers. And then later throughout the course, it's more what goes into like making software and stuff like that. Taking this class, you learn a lot about like how to physically repair computers. It's super helpful going into like sort of jobs that require like an IT department. I do work a lot on like the hardware side of things. I prefer that more than the software. So it's really intriguing to me and it's something that I actually want to go into um, in my future post college. Either some kind of computer engineering or electrical engineering, for example, like working alongside with like Boeing and like installing the intricate parts and uh, things that are in the like, cockpits of airplanes. I believe the program is very worth it, especially for people that are interested in technologies. Um, people who may not have a lot of experience are very much so welcome here. Another pathway with robotics, I get some kids that aren't so much into the programming, uh, but they really like the robotics, and robotics can lead into industry, so kids with some programming background and some mechanical robotics are able to walk into industry and work, into, work in factories with robots and be able, to, uh, be able to sit down and be able to program them with very little training. I recruit kids all the time. I'm like, why aren't you taking my classes? Come take my classes. And they tell me all the time, oh, Mr. Hampton, I'm not smart enough to do robotics. I'm not smart enough to do programming. That's not true. Everyone can do programming. I don't expect someone to come in and know anything about programming. All I hope for is a want and drive to learn, and I will teach you how to be a programmer.